All right, so let's get started. So before I begin the actual demo, I wanted to show you guys a couple of things and these things which I use on a constant basis in the middle of painting. So the first thing is that is the is the aspect ratio. I generally like to use the wider aspect ratio because that simulates the aspect ratio of movies and games. So I like to paint in that fashion and widescreen aspect ratio is for me the best way to showcase my work. And also when it comes to the resolution, currently I'm painting at 1920 by 1080 which is HD, full HD and the resolution is 72 but when you're presenting your final image that should be on the wider side that should be at least 3000 to 4000 pixels wide and the height will be changed according to that but keep the keep the width around 3 to 4000 at least and you can go above that if your computer allows it and the resolution need not be more than 72 so so yeah this was the resolution also another tool which I use the most is the eyedropper tool this tool sorry this the eyedropper tool this tool is the second most used tool when I'm painting the first one is brushes and then the second one is this one this eyedropper tool so if you are for example if you are painting this any value and you want to quickly select another value you just simply press alt in windows and select that and release and when and when you release it it will convert back to the brush brush tool and then you can go ahead and paint the selected value and likewise you can blend by selecting the values with the eyedropper tool by pressing alt and then using the brush tool you can blend easily so this is how I do most of the time and with the brush I'm using there are so many brushes which I have here but I use the basic brushes around 85 to 90 percent of the time so the most brush which I use is this this is some kind of a chalk brush which gives me flat and some more textured strokes and the another one which I use is this one this one is um, is I use this one too mainly because uh, whenever I'm painting the flat surface it gives me flat lines and also you can you can have a texture in it you can also disable the texture from from here from windows and brushes and you can disable that a dual brush setting which enables the texture and also there is a this texture tab if you don't want the texture then you can disable that but I like to use some of a little bit of texture I like to have that and then there are these um, these brushes which are cloud brushes and smoke brushes which I use for which I use generally in the in the later part of the painting when I'm when I'm finishing things up and when I'm detailing and and there are some of the foliage brushes again these are brushes that I don't use it very much in the beginning so basically this was the tour of my brush preset and also this brush I use the most because it has the organic feel and you can disable the texture this this texture is too extreme for me too so let's just disable that and let's try only this one let's try this all right so this is this brush I use the I use most of the time because with the opacity on 
because this brush has an organic feel so whenever whenever I'm painting an organic subject so I use this kind of brush but when I'm painting something which is inorganic and hard surface and um, has flat lines then I then I go for this this one so these are the brushes which I use most of the time and you can get all of these through the internet I got from the internet these are not particularly mine so if you Google you can you can create your own collection of favorite brushes but I would suggest in the beginning to to stick with with the basic brushes and not use too much of the technical and fancy brushes. So yeah.